In December of 2009, Dr. Robin Wright, an anthropologist and recently appointed FSS field associate, is on his way to the remote village of Wapui, Brazil, in the northwest Amazon, to attend a unique inauguration ceremony. In May of 2009, Dr. Wright contacted the Foundation for Shamanic Studies at the request of the Baniwa people of Wapui and the last and most powerful of the shamans, the snuff jaguar shaman Mandu Manuel da Silva. Dr. Wright, who had worked with the Baniwa and Mandu, which means chief, since the 70s, related that the Baniwa of this region were seeking help to preserve their traditions. Their proposal included the building of a shaman's center, where apprentices could gather to learn, traditions could be taught, and people could come for healing. The project was fully aligned with the Foundation's mission to preserve shamanic knowledge for the welfare of the planet and its inhabitants, and the FSS Board of Trustees readily approved funding to assist in this revitalization of Baniwa shamanism. Upon arrival at the center, the visitors are greeted by students from the local school and get their first look at the new shaman's house. The festivities began with the fish dance. Next, the dance of the leafcutter ants is performed. In this dance, like the ants it is named after, a couple go in front and see if it's a good place to circulate. And if it is, they go back and bring in the others to dance with them. The visitors are welcomed with gifts and have an opportunity to speak where they compliment the dancers and the people on the presentation and the house. Bom dia. Bom dia. É, vocês por terem nos recebido aqui na comunidade. Proposta de montar um projeto de criar esse centro de, de revitalização cultural dos povos Baniwa do, do rio Ayari. When night falls, the serious spiritual work begins. The elder and most powerful of the shamans, Snuff Jaguar Shaman Mandu, and his apprentices, now increased to 12 since the beginning of this project, assemble in the shaman's house. Mandu and his brother Mario distribute the shaman's snuff, Parika, to the apprentices in preparation for the blessing of the house. Plinio, a school teacher and one of the shaman apprentices, explains to the president of the National Indian Agency about the importance of the shaman's practice. This here is a tradition, a school that will take us to the doctoring of certain kinds of sickness. That is, in the reality that is ours, the reality is ours because the ancestors made it so. Today there are in the world of the white people 
surgeries and medicines that are produced industrially with measurements. But we cannot understand, because our memories, as I said before, have been forgotten. All that we have left is what we have in Manuel. I want to make it clear that certain sicknesses of the white people and of the indigenous peoples, the medical doctors cannot cure, but we can cure. And there should be an exchange of knowledge. Through this shaman snuff that we have in our hands, this parika, we perceive what kind of sickness the person, the patient has. And we can determine in what way we can cure that sickness. Mandu says, I tell you, my people, it was like this in the old long house where I grew up. People were very happy. People would always come to visit the long house. When visitors arrived, they would go to speak to the chief. They would come to celebrate dance festivals when they would paint each other in beautiful ways. There would be a lot of beverages to drink. They would bless everything so that all would turn out well. Yes, they were very happy when they lived in the long house. Today we do not see these things anymore, but we can still be happy here. Here no one should be sad, no one should envy the things that others have, no one should do anything bad or wrong to other people. Here we want to be a community where there is happiness and well-being. We do not want any sadness here. You see this one here. A long time ago, he came here. Many who are adults today were children then. He has always been our friend. For many, many years, he has helped us, and we are thankful to him and to the foundation that we now have this longhouse where we can be happy again. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.